Sister Anne Therese um, first brought up a religious vocation when she was in the sixth grade. And I don't remember the incident, but she remembers it very clearly. And she said she was thinking about it one day and she came down and she said to me, Mom, I think I'm supposed to be a sister. I remember very clearly the, the day the Sister Susanna told me that she had a religious vocation. Uh, it's a beautiful story. We were on a family holiday in the middle of the Australian outback, um, Uluru. And uh, in the evening we went for a walk together. And the, uh, the stars are amazing, the skies are beautiful, we've got the Milky Way. And um, that's when she told me that she, um, she had a religious vocation. I was surprised, um, uh, possibly a little shocked, and certainly had that mother thing, well, it would be probably a good idea if you finished your degree here, which um, that didn't happen. <laughs> but that turned out not to, that wasn't a problem. I remember when Sister told me of her vocation. I was 12 or 13 at the time, and we were sitting in our toy room, and I remember it having really no <laughs> witness to Sisters back home in Australia. It was really surprising for me at the time. The only real experience I had with Sisters was the film Sister Act with Whoopi Goldberg, <laughs> so that was immediately where my thoughts went to. <laughs> Um, my relationship with sister, you know, has changed, but that's no different than how it's changed since our other children have become adults and have gotten married and have started families and, you know, they grow up, so it's going to be different. What gives you the most peace of mind now, and we've watched this develop through her seven years of training, but especially after she's just taken her final vows, is to see the how peaceful she is and how content and she, as my mother's often commented, when she was studying at university back home, she was a joy to be around but there was always something more you could tell that she was missing and that she was looking for and she's found it.